Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing something I've never done on my YouTube channel before. Shock, horror, what is it going to be Taz? Well, if you can't already tell from the title, we're going to be doing a room challenge. So you've heard of a shell challenge? Have you heard of a room challenge? So my friend Fruitish has released the Froom challenge. Get it? Fruitish and room. Froom. But um, test. Well done, Mark. And what it is, is he's put this room up on the gallery. If you search fruitish, you'll be able to find it. And you've got to decorate it in any way, shape or form. I don't think you can add walls or remove the foundation, but you just do what you want with it, upload it, and then he'll be touring them over on his Twitch stream. I will link that down in the description section below. So we cannot add or remove the walls. We cannot delete or add to this platform. Do not use custom content. Dang, I guess I can't do it then. I'm out. Bye, you lot. You can increase the height of the platform. You can change the wall, floor and platform textures that he's put on. And you can add half walls and fences. And this is the shell. I've just placed it down in Newcrest. This is what it looks like. And I'm not quite sure what to do with it. So I've just got back from Italy. So maybe we go with kind of Italian vibes. Maybe we do a mini little restaurant, a mini Italian restaurant chef's kiss very planty i went to lake como can we add a lake or is it just a room i'm guessing it's just a room i can't just add one big lake around it i don't care what anyone says screw the rules i'm adding a lake oops actually in venice the by saint mark's square because venice is like they say that venice is gonna sink one day in saint mark's square at night it actually does start to flood like this but we'll do it like that perfect beautiful nicely done so the way that they get to our venetian italian restaurant is over the lake lake como to be exact i'm really getting this good here the heart of italy is going into this build okay so i'm thinking we go with like red sort of vibes on the inside for italy for our italian restaurant i've just been working on my base game save file so it's very weird to now have access to every single pack if you do want to check out my base game save file builds that is over on my second youtube channel more tazkabaz where we stream them live on twitch and then upload the vods on my second channel okay so so we need the like tartan red and white kind of vibe sort of table. That's a thing. I swear that's a thing in Sims. It's not really that though, is it? Sims, you're letting the team down. This was the vibe that I wanted. This is the vibe that I got. I guess we're going for the stars. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not letting my Italian people down here, but you can only do so much with Sims. So to actually make this a functional restaurant, I mean, it's not that functional. It's in the middle of a blooming lake, so whatever. But to actually make this functional, we we need to go into dine out i believe and we need to get a chef station a waiter station and a host station that's a lot of stations and not enough trains going around this moat oh i can just about squeeze it on okay we are getting there with this it's really coming together this is the smallest restaurant in the history of restaurants let me just tell you okay the only liable window that i could possibly think is the ones that have like shutters on them so you know something like this this. I kind of want to do shutters on the inside. No one's really looking at the outside. We could double up, shutter all over the place. And I just feel like yes we are on the inside once again we've established that but we've got to put a planter we've got to have that window planter in here sorry johnny you can't get to your food making machine you can't make the food for anyone because of the planter right this is italian so that's going here again this would probably go on the outside it's got to be red red or go home that's not a saying that i'm back in but go red or go home is what i meant to say okay beautifully done is uh if i search italy does anything come up tech search for italy no results found we need a sink and a toilet to complete the venue. Does it look like I can fit in a sink and a toilet? Unless I replace one of these blooming chairs with a toilet. I don't know where that's going to go. And I can't add any windows or doors or more walls. Poor Johnny's going to have to pee outside. Because this has to be uploaded as a room. So it is only what's in this perimeter. Oh no. What about if I add a toilet and size it down? <laughs> Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know that there is a toilet there. Right, the toilet and the sink. Let's add them both in and size them down and nobody is gonna know beautifully done
done. The restaurant requirements have been completed and we don't even need to worry about adding a toilet. In fact, I don't want Mark to know that they're there. So why don't we like push them in behind all of these little pots and pans? And if he does by chance tour this, he'll be like, wow, those are some nice pots and pans hiding in front of a toilet. Right, I feel like we need a little seat for somebody to wait on while they wait to be served. You're gonna have to wait for hours if you want a seat at this restaurant because there's literally room for one, two, three, four, five, six people. If you've got a family of seven, yes, screwed. Somebody's sitting out in the water, I'm afraid. Right, this rustic stool is giving me Italian vibes. Dang it, where the platform goes down, you can't even like oh, move there. I'm just gonna raise that up and just whack that there. Silly platform. Oh, it's gone down again. Now it's floating. You can't win in this situation. You literally cannot win. Okay, so Italians love their football and all that. So why don't we get some like, these look like, mm, I mean, they're not football jerseys, but they could get away with being football jerseys, you know, like Ronaldo and whatnot. I mean, actually, I don't even think Ronaldo's Italian. Isn't he like from Portugal or Madeira or something of that? Nah, scratch that. Let's go for oldie paintings. You will find in like nice, cute little Italian restaurants, they will have like cute little old paintings of like the restaurant, maybe people that visited the restaurant back in the day, that kind of vibe, trust me. Okay, definitely this kind of vibe if we can squeeze this, this in somewhere, although it is floating again. Squish that in there. Let's whack this little light fella on in, maybe in this corner. Maybe some of these little succulent terrariums. They look like they'd be in Italy. Do some like that. I'm gonna change the floor into this kind of like terracotta vibe. That screams Italian to me. And the platform to match in like that. Okay, that looks a lot better, I think. Right, one thing that we're missing is plants. So I'm gonna whack these little planty things kind of here up the wall like this. Let's get this fine vine curtain, fine wine and dining curtain thing, Maruni, going on up here as well. I feel like we're gonna have like grandma's old utensils like vibing and thriving in here, you know? Like these sorts of vibes and this kind of dealio definitely a bit of that this little like tupperware casserole dish from i think that's cottage living definitely going in there it is floating but it will do gonna add this little clean sweepy doodah on the wall move this squeeze that in there definitely needing some rugs on the floor i think let's filter by red i reckon something quite sort of old and tatty maybe this you know maybe not right i think let's do the paranormal activity one um, that rug works and it's red as well. Tiny. Oh no, that's a CC pack. You can't be using that, Taz. Let's do the paranormal activity one. And let's add some more of these pictures on this wall. <gasps> this. This screams Italy. Maybe this is the road that the Italian restaurant is on. Beautiful. This potted tree is definitely going to be in this restaurant. 100%. Let's size it down. Put it in that corner. Jungle adventure plants are definitely a big vibe for this. Yeah, I can see this happening. Let's do this one maybe here. Again, this is probably not functional, but it is what it is. And I like this plant, so I'm keeping it. Okay, and I think that we are done with the Froom Challenge. Let me know what you think of my Italian-inspired room restaurant. If you do like it, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to check out Fruitish's channel over here on YouTube and on Twitch. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more room challenges like this here on YouTube. Take care, look after yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. Tad's out.